Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram to take a look at a brand new 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. This is the limited with four wheel drive. The color here is Midnight Sky. So we're going to check out this 24 Grand Cherokee L. See what Jeep is bringing in this elongated version of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. So let's dig in. All right, the front end of this Jeep Grand Cherokee L Limited. Again, Midnight Sky is the color, which is a really dark blue. When the sun's not on it, it looks black. When the sun's on it, it looks dark blue. Blacked out Jeep badge on the hood, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED fog lamps, LED turn signals. We have a gloss black followed by flat black grill. So these are gloss black in here flat black in between, functionality on the grill all the way down. Again, we have these fake vents, which I'm not a big fan of. I'd like to see them taken care of. Our fog lamps are right in here, right above these. So it would have been nice maybe if they could have built that into the housing, but they do have your, your parking sensors right in the middle there and across the front. But it's a very familiar. It looks like a Jeep. It looks like the Grand Cherokee, and that's what's important to a lot of people, and I think it looks good. All right, the wheel and tire setup on this Grand Cherokee L. We have a 20-inch machined aluminum alloy wheel, gloss black, with the Jeep badge on the center cap, standard brake and rotor package. Now, these 20-inch wheels are wrapped in Pirelli Scorpion Verde all-season tires. 265 on the width, a 50 series sidewall 20s, all four corners, four wheel drive. All right, looking at the Grand Cherokee L, what we see here is this midnight sky. We do have flat black around the wheel wells and along the bottom of the door shells, sills with the Grand Cherokee name in black on the door, but there's really no change from 23. The Grand Cherokee is a good looking, good looking three row SUV. And with the L, you're going to get a bit more space, which a lot of people may want. Well, let me know what you think about it. As we move in closer, there's that flat black right here around the wheel wells and then down along the bottom of the door sills. We have the Grand Cherokee name in black with the American flag on the bottom of the door. Now, what we have here on the side view mirror is a gloss black side view mirror, LED turn signals, 360 degree view cameras, color match on the front and the rear door handle, left side fuel filler cap. Up top, you got a roof spoiler coming off the top, flat black on the roof rails and on the shark fin antenna. And then you got the panoramic sunroof. Okay, the rear end of our Grand Cherokee. Again, that roof spoiler coming off the top. I'd like to see them take this and tuck this, but of course that's gonna interfere with our digital rear view mirror up here. So maybe they need to make this longer. Let me know what you think. The black Jeep badge on the back, LED taillights, LED turn signals, four by four on the left, limited on the right. Down below here, we do have flat black on the bumper area. This panel right here in between the exhaust outlets is the tow hitch. And we'll talk about those numbers when we take a look at this engine. All right, we're under the hood of this 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. And what do we have for a power plant? Well, we have Jeep's 3.6 liter, naturally aspirated V6 engine mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. 293 horsepower, 257 pound-feet of torque. This Jeep can tow up to 6,200 pounds. MPGs, 18 in the city, 25 on the highway, 21 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior of this Grand Cherokee L for 24, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much am I going to have to pay for something like this? Pretty cool looking Jeep, but I've heard they've gotten expensive. Well, you know what? They have gotten expensive, and this is what we got going on. Base price 2024 model year for the Grand Cherokee L Limited 4x4 is $52,780. Now, that's going to get you that Quadratrack four wheel drive system, select terrain system going to get you the remote start, the power lift gate, the adaptive cruise control, active lane management, forward collision warning, park view, back at rear backup camera, rear park assist, blind spot, cross traffic alert. It's going to get you a lot of that action already included in the price. 
plus it's going to get you Uconnect 5 and all that other jazz, which we'll go over later. But when we have to add in the options, that's when Jeeps can start getting expensive. Now, the Midnight Sky exterior paint is an extra $595. Now, this particular one as well has customer preferred package 23E, the Luxury Tech Group number two, for an additional $2,925. That gets you the Capri Leatherette Access 2 seats, ventilated front seats, intersection collision assist, park sense front and rear, surround view camera system, rain sensitive wipers, rear view auto dimming digital rear view mirror, rear backup camera washer, integrated off-road camera, manual second row sunshades, auto dimming exterior driver mirror, door and lift gate passive entry, memory steering column, power tilt telescope steering column. Now we have to add an additional 2725 for the black appearance package. That gets you those 20 inch by eight and a half inch gloss, plaque, gloss black painted aluminum alloy wheels, the performance all season tires, and the gloss black exterior accents. An extra 2,615 for the dual pane panoramic sunroof. An extra 1,775 for the nine speaker amplified uh, sound system from Alpine with a 506 watt amplifier. Then we add in destination and delivery of $1,795 from Jeeps, Detroit, Michigan assembly plant. And we have a total MSRP from the factory of $65,210. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. The floor mats are in the cargo area at this time. Seats. We have power seats with lumbar for the driver and the front passenger. And now seating material, like I mentioned earlier, we got that Capri Leatherette Axis 2 seats, black with white stitching, looks good, headrests nice and soft, bolstering nice and forgiven. They look nice and comfortable, nicely appointed interior. All right, door panels looking good, soft up to up top, brushed aluminum on the door handle. Then we have that... Uh, Wood design, that open pour wood, that uh, faux design in the wood. It's not real wood, but it looks like wood. They do a nice job on that. Nice soft armrest with the stitching, flat black on the switch gear. Good looking door panel, the Alpine sound system in here. Up top, soft touch stitching, the leatherette stitching, more that wood finish, more brushed aluminum. And then down below, a nice large glove box. The center stack. Like how Jeep does the center stack quite a bit. Two heat and air vents up here. Then on the top, we have our engine auto stop start on off. We'll rock with that off today. Lane keep assist on off. Traction control on off. Four-way hazards, parking sensors on off. Now we have our 10.1 inch Uconnect 5. In my view, one of the best infotainment systems in the business. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. We have navigation capability. We go to our map, bring up our map, and then we have really nice pinch to zoom response from this system. We can go back to home. We can configure our home screen however we would like by adding or removing widgets. Now we have our, let me get up our climate. There we go. And now if we look at the climate, we have three stage heated seats, three stage ventilated seats, a heated steering wheel, dual climate control. Um, so they got you all set in here. And if you don't want to fart around with this screen here, they have hard controls down here for the same features. So I like the redundancies as well. You can sync them together. You got your media, you get your Sirius XM, Bluetooth, your phone, use your wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, whatever you want to do there. Plain and simple. You got your vehicle settings you can go into where you got your mirror dimmer. You can lower the third row headrests from up here, which is nice. Your surround view camera, your family cam, which is a camera that's in the back that lets you look at everything in the car. There it is, looking good. That's a really nice touch. Make sure none of your kids are fooling around back there. And then you got your forward facing camera you can turn on separately. So they got you covered there and they got cameras all over this car and then your rear view camera. And then you got your apps over here which you can go through, and there they all are, your Alexa, your off-road pages. You're going to take this baby off-road. you got your vehicle dynamics. 
you got your accessory gauges, you got your pitch and roll, you got your select terrain, forward facing camera again. So they got you covered here in these off-road pages as well. And so there's plenty of action going on on this system and it's I really, really like it and it's really, really responsive. Now, if we do go to reverse, there's that backup camera and look how big it is. With trajectory, super clear, really like it. And then you got different camera angles. So you can go all back, you can go all front, you can go to a narrower view of the front with your 360. You can come off the top and go all back if you want. You can take care of that and go back to what we have originally and you're all set to go. So it's really, really well done. Really good system to use. As I mentioned down below, you have all the redundancies for your heat and air, dual climate, as well as your three-stage heated seats, three-stage ventilated seats for the driver and the front passenger and your heated steering wheel. Then you got your max defrost and all that other jazz. We open this up and in here, what do we got? We got USB-A, two of them, two USB-Cs, an aux jack, a 12 volt, and we'll get this little thing removed out of here. Rubberized bottom, wireless charging pad. They got you set there. Now, here's our dial to go through the 8 speed. Here are the drive modes, which we'll go through when we check out our digital dash. We do have some piano gloss black plastic, which I'm not a big fan of. Two cup holders, though, with a nice trim ring. And now the Jeep key fob is really nice. Unlock, lock, remote start, pop the tailgate, panic button, says Jeep on the back. Really nice weight to it too. Really like how it feels in my hand. Here's our center armrest. Nice and soft with the stretching and the leather wrap. Open that up and we have a felt lined area where you can put stuff and we open that second door up and then you got a larger area for storage underneath that. All right, our Grand Cherokee steering wheel, nice leather wrap steering wheel, nice 10 and two notches. We got that lovely white stitching and some brushed aluminum with a Jeep edge on the horn button, flat black on our switch gear, where you got the controls here for your telephone and for your digital dash. And then on the right, you got your cruise, adaptive cruise, lane keep assist controls, and that kind of, kind of jazz over there. We do have paddles to manually go through the eight speed automatic if you'd like. Then we have our bright lights and turn signals on the left front and rear wiper on the right. Down below here, you have your headlights and fog lamp controls, and then brighten dim the dash. And way down here is your electric parking brake. We have a electric, as I mentioned, tilting and telescoping wheel. So that's a nice touch like that. And then we have a lovely 10.1 inch, or maybe a little bit bigger, uh, digital dash, which I like. And then we have our drive modes. So we have sport, we got auto, we have snow, and we have sand and mud. So I think we're going to stick with auto today. And then you also have additional features that you can go through as well on this dash. As you can see up top, you have driver info, then you got vehicle info, and from within vehicle info, you have different things you can look at, right? Then you come down and you got trip info, and then you got off-road info where you can get to your terrain status, vehicle dynamics, pitch and roll, and then you got audio. So there is a lot of action going on on this dash and you can configure how you want the gauges to look as well in here so it's really i think it's a little complicated for a guy like me but it gives you a lot of versatility here with this digital dash rear view mirror we have the regular rear view mirror hello and then we have the magic button right here you pull that forward and you got your digital rear view mirror i really like that feature here is our overhead console right here and everything looks pretty straightforward you can pop the tailgate from right there you want your dome lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door this button remains off so when you open the door the lights come on when you close the door the lights go off that's pretty simple sos button in case there's an emergency on the road and then here's our controls for this panoramic roof so if i want to open the shade that's on the right side so i can click open and the shade will come go back 
halfway, click it a second time, they must share these roofs with Ford. And then you can open your glass. One touch open, wind buffeter goes up, glass goes back, and then you want to close the glass, you just hit close, and that'll close. And then you can also tilt it if you want, and then you hit that close shade button, and here she comes again. This is stop halfway. No, all the way back in one fell swoop, so that's better because it is a big roof. And now we're closed. Now we go to our sun visor with vanity and LED light. And does it slide? Yes, it does to block out the side sun. Driver's door panel, more of that wood finish, but we have two memory seat settings for the driver, which is nice, but we don't have a powered fold side view mirror. And at 65 grand, we need to have one of those in this thing. All right, mid-row time in this Grand Cherokee L. I have the seat set for my driving position, so in we'll go. And nice and easy to get with the flat roof. Plenty of room in 5'11", plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees. We got the leather rat, and then we got hard black plastic and a cargo net. At 65 grand, I'm not in love with that at all. We got the same setup on the back of the passenger seat. This should be all leather rat and real leather rat seat pockets. As we come here to the back, though, we got the command center going on. So we can turn that on. And as you can see, without all the glare, shoot it at an angle. We got our rear climate control. We got three stage heated seats for both mid row passengers, two heat and air vents. Down below, you have, there we go. You have two USB C's, two USB A's, and a home power source, and an area down here, maybe to slide your phone with two cup holders. Back uh, door panels, same as the front, same materials, same vibe. Here's the front door panel looking good. Here's our back door panel looking good. And you also have the security shades for you. So they got you all set there. And then the, the captain's chairs, same leatherette with the stitching, nice headrests. We have these, but these are a bit skinny. It's not going to fit your whole arm on here, but they don't ratchet. So I like that, but I'd like to see these a bit wider, like we've seen in an Explorer or an Expedition. They make the best, I think, Ford does. But here in the mid row, it is a comfortable place to be. And I got plenty of room. I can connect my phone. I can get my heated seat going if it's cold out. Um, let me know if you think we should have ventilated seats here at 65 grand in this Grand Cherokee L. Getting in row number three, it's your button right up here. Just pull it up, and the seat will move forward and out of the way for you to get in. And there's a pretty good space to get in here. And once you just step right in, you can move in to the third row. And here in the third row, I'm loving it back here in this Grand Cherokee L. I got plenty of room for my head and shoulders. Knees aren't too high. And I have heat and air vents in the C-pillar on either side. And also on either side, I got one cup holder a USB-C, and a USB-A. As you can see, here's the other side with that C-pillar heat and air vent, USB-C, USB-A cup holder. The seating material in the third row, nice and leatherette with the stitching. It all looks good. They didn't cheap out. And now if I slide behind the seat that's already back there, you can see how much room I have. So this L version gives you a lot more space for the third row. So if I'm going three row Grand Cherokee, I'm going to take a hard look at this L. Now I may not spend 65 grand on one because I don't need everything that's in here, frankly, to get me around town. I could probably go with a much lower spec Grand Cherokee L and be very, very happy. Not, you know, don't need to go with the limited, but the space in here I love. Getting in the cargo area of the Grand Cherokee L, you can pop the tailgate from the overhead console or from your key fob, or you can come to the back. Right next to that backup camera, there's a button. You push it, beeps a couple of times. Nice electric assist on the way up. Nice electric assist on the way down using this button right here. And with the third row up, you're looking at 17.2 cubic feet of space in the Grand Cherokee L. As we move back in, we got some lighting back here. On the right side, we do have a 12 volt for power, a little extra cubby. These are the all season mats that come with the vehicle. 
Then we open this up and we have another area for storage underneath that. And your spare in the Grand Cherokee L is underneath behind the tow hitch. There she blows. So they got you covered there. Now, to get the third row down, you have this lever that you pull. Headrest falls and then you just shove it forward. Headrest falls and then you shove it forward. Now you got more space, but if you want to maximize your space, you got to come around either side of the vehicle because there is no mid row captain's chair drop from the tailgate area in the Grand Cherokee L, L and that's what Jeep needs to take care of. Right? Ford needs to up, do better there. So does Toyota and so does Jeep because Kia Telluride and Hyundai Palisade are going to blast you with that convenient feature and you need to have it here. But when you get all the seats down, 84.6 cubic feet of space, which is a great number for this Grand Cherokee L. All right, here is our window sticker for this 24 Grand Cherokee L Limited. Standard equipment on the left. Options, and there are a lot of them. Total vehicle price, MPGs, made in Detroit. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're driving this 2024 Grand Cherokee L limited 4x4 in the midnight sky. And first things first, I got great visibility out the windshield, side view mirror, rear view uh, window, digital rear view mirror, no problem, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that jazz, as I told you on the window sticker, is in this Grand Cherokee L for safety. I have the uh, camera hanging off the sunroof. It's angled down a little bit so you can see how easy it is for me to reach everything in here. Great tech. Nice and easy to figure out. I can reach all my buttons up here if I need to. I can get everything going on down here. I got my phone and the wireless charger charging up right now. No problem. Nice soft armrest to rest my arm on right here. I got my cup holders. I got nice leather seats that are very comfortable. So really well appointed and well uh, appointed uh, tech features in here to help you get down the road. Now this is a pretty bumpy road, but this is a pretty stiff suspension. We're in the normal setting or auto, and it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty firm. But the steering's really nice, really tight, feels really good. Nothing's rattling around in here. I love the fact that we got the naturally aspirated V6. That's got plenty of power to get this vehicle up and running. You really don't need the V8 unless you just really want to have one as far as this kind of stuff goes. We got all the tech in the world you can, that you can want or need in this Grand Cherokee, including USB-A, USB-C connectivity up front, in the mid row, in the third row. You got climate control. I think I'd like to see for 65 grand though, ventilated seats in the mid row as well as heated ones. Uh, it has the heated ones, but it needs ventilated seats there as well. But it just, it drives really, really well. And it feel it makes you feel confident going down the road. And it handles the ruts and the bumps really, really well. So I really can't complain. All right, we don't have anybody behind us, so we'll get up the hill and we'll do an emergency stop in three, two, one. Yeah, just throws out the anchors and we're stopped. Very, very well done. Now we'll take off. just gets you right up to speed no problem nice linear torque delivery nice smooth shifts out of this eight-speed automatic no problem and back down the road we go handles well on the curves 19.1 foot turning radius so we'll see how that goes. 
which feels pretty good for a, 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 a big SUV like a Grand Cherokee L. It's a pretty good number. So here we go. Nobody's coming. And around she goes. No problem. So I like that. And we go down the road. So there's a lot of things to like about this Grand Cherokee L. I, I like how it drives. I like the tech. I like the confidence it gives me going down the road. I like all the extra room. I do want to thank Sioka Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram here in Flemington for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Limited 4x4 for a review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.